Hi, and welcome to Ask the RV Expert. I'm Chris Doherty, Technical Editor for RVTravel.com, and I'm joined by Rob Heckenass, Program Manager for Xantrex. Rob, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Chris. Great. I've got a question here from Lisa, who writes asking, what do I have to do to run my refrigerator on an inverter so I don't have to have the LP gas on in my trailer while I'm driving? What do you think, Rob? Well, that uh, the inverter is the key part, so you could install an inverter uh, in the vehicle. Uh, it'll take the battery power and uh, alternator power, convert it to 120 volts, and basically run the fridge while you're driving. Um, uh, other alternatives would be to mount the inverter in the trailer itself. Uh, and the only reason that I even remotely consider that in this case is that the fridge that we're talking about probably draws three to five amps of AC, which draws maybe 40 to 60 amps of DC. So that may be possible to pull that power from the vehicle uh, through heavy gauge wire to uh, an Anderson double D connector on the bumper, etc. cetera. Um, pros and cons though, we've got to consider these things because if you mount the inverter in the vehicle uh, where you've got the source of DC power, uh, of course, when you disconnect, uh, you don't have power in the trailer at all. Um, and of course, uh, one of the key parts is once the trailer is parked at the campsite and perhaps disconnected from the towing vehicle, then you really want to have some AC power on the trailer itself. And so you, it would take a pretty big battery bank uh, to have that much reserve capacity to run that refrigerator for any amount of time in the trailer. Exactly. That, that is what it boils down to. The inverter itself, install, installing an inverter big enough to run the fridge, that's the easy part, relatively speaking. It's really, you know, we need to turn around and have that, uh, that DC capacity in there to run those fridges. Now, keep in mind, this is not like running a microwave that runs for five minutes at high power uh, and not even like a you know, relatively low power TV set that runs for three hours or so. Um, we're talking about a fridge that runs you know, is at least a, you know, perhaps a 30 or 50 percent duty cycle 24 hours a day. So they are really notorious for gobbling up uh, you know, house battery bank capacity. It's not usually the case unless your fridge is really small or very, very efficient uh, and you have a very large battery bank. That's why in, in a lot of cases it still makes a lot of sense uh, to basically have the fridge running on propane once you're stopped. Of course, once you're moving um, for that, you know, few hours drive, or maybe it's a one-day drive to the location. Definitely taking advantage of uh, onboard or vehicle-generated AC inverter power is definitely an asset. Okay, great, Rob. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for asking some great uh, a great question today.